Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. The past month or so for me has been absolutely insane. So much exciting stuff has happened. I released my debut EP Glory Days. A lot of publications and podcasts have featured my music, interviewed me, written really kind reviews about it. I started my first ever radio campaign for The Woods and my favorite YouTuber Grady Smith heard my music and shared it with his audience. I've been a big fan of Grady's channel for a long time now. I love how in-depth he gets with his music critiques, how he gets really into the lyrics and the nitty-gritty of the production. When I would watch his videos, I would always think to myself, I wish he could hear my music. I think that he would like it if he heard it, but I don't have that big of an audience. And so in my mind, it was gonna be years before he heard it. One night, I just decided to make a TikTok. I made like a little PowerPoint presentation and I explained to him why I thought that he would like my music and why he should check it out. It only got a few hundred views on TikTok and Instagram Reels, um, but one of those hundred views was Grady. And so a few days later, I was driving to Florida to go to the beach with my friend. And I looked at my phone and I had like a message from Grady Smith on Instagram. He had shared my Instagram reel to his story and then he shared me some really thoughtful advice that he had for me for social media and then a few days later he posted a YouTube video called 15 random good things happening in country music right now and one of the things was about independent artists just like going out there and putting themselves out there and he included me in the video. Hearing what she said and what she valued in her own music about no, I've got a lot of steel guitar. I don't use throwaway lyrics. I think about these things. I think you would like that, Grady. It's uh, <laughs> choked up by that. And if that had been the end of it, like I would have been absolutely A-OK. -okay. Like I was so excited. About 10 days later, he shared my song to his story on Instagram and then he added Glory Days to his Spotify playlist. I got a message from him and he said, Hey, just wanted to let you know that I posted you in my community post feed and I shared it with my audience. And I looked at my YouTube analytics. It was a right angle. Like it had shot up so much so quickly because he shared it. So since he shared my music, some really exciting stuff has happened. About a week after he shared my music, put it on his Spotify playlist, I got a notification from Spotify that I had been added to my first ever Spotify editorial playlist. Glory Days was added to Fresh Finds Country, which has over 50,000 followers. I feel like someone that works at Spotify either follows Grady on Instagram or follows Grady's Spotify playlist because it happened so quickly after that and so since then my follower count on Spotify has doubled my listeners have doubled and that has been absolutely insane to see that happen and then about a week after the Spotify editorial playlist happened I got a notification on Twitter that um, my song Glory Days was going to be played on BBC Radio in Northern Ireland. This amazing DJ named John Kerr. I found it recently, I think it was on Instagram, it was shared by a music journalist that I rate quite highly, a, a guy called Gritty Smith. Honestly, he puts me onto some artists that I'm just otherwise unaware of and that is the greatest gift of all in music, I think, hearing somebody that, you know, that's new and that you immediately connect with. Um, so I found this girl uh, that way. Uh, her name is Rachel McIntyre Smith. The fact that my song reached Ireland and to hear someone even say my name in an Irish accent was really cool. I was already a big fan of Grady's content before he shared my music, but now I'm a huge fan of Grady as a person. I work full time still to pay for all my music stuff. I don't have a record deal. I don't have a management team, don't have a publishing deal. And so someone of his caliber taking the time to listen to my music just means so much to me. And not only listen to it, but he gave me really nice advice um, and then also shared my music with his community. It just means so much to me. If you're one of the people who found my music through Grady, just thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my music and things are just getting started. I have a whole lot of stuff planned, so I hope that you stick around. Um, 2023, I think is gonna be even more exciting than 2022 has been. So that's all for now. Stay tuned for more. Bye.